What up, Twitch? It's the boy Big Snoop D-O-Double-G. And I got a very special message to the players. I want you all to go to Fahim's.com, the wellness brand for men. They got a one-stop shop for your hair, your skin, and even for your hair loss. Thanks to science, baldness can be optional. They got this $5 offer that hooks you up and comes right to your crib. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. And head over to forehims.com. Peace, player. I see your hair growing already.
Okay. Is my volume clear? Is everything good? Well, then, that's pretty good. Okay. Individual focus mode. My reader's approach. I may not have a safe experience when playing this game. I don't want any previews of this event. Heck no! By agreeing, you will agree that you are researching the ability. Hmm. Well, that was neat. It always went in setting. can barely hear me. Very distant. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Very distant. All right. How about now? Uh, testing. Can anyone hear this? Alright, that's right. For that 10 second delay. Ah. Alright. That better? Alright, good. A little better? Oh, okay, hold on. Let's see. 
if I have it like this, it's going to pick up the background sounds, and I don't want that. Increase. Because I got the fan going on. Okay, next to this thing. Oh, wait. Why are you doing this? Stop. Nope. Stop. Stop. Oh, really? Cool. All right. problem just let me know that'll be great oh wait <gasps> it's not letting you do numbers Bill Cosby. <laughs> Oof. Uh, that is the D ideal mate key. Do I need thing? Ah. Hmm. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend that you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Now where I just sigh, I don't in the front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. This guy, this guy's kind of an asshole. Not gonna lie. Hey, hey, I almost slipped again, but I got you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait. Oh wait, no, that's me. Stop McMahon whore. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you've been thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, slut McMurro. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for... No. Oh, well, if people start... They need to, like, change it. Oh, whatever. I'm not used to it. Well, if people start... Stare at... <laughs> if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess I don't- I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, sorry. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the stru streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily comments. 
By the way, Slut McMahon or have you decided on a club to join yet? Club? I told you already. I'm really not. I told you. Uh, Alright, I'll get better at this. I told you already. I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. He told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of many of our conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she goes on, whatever she's going on about. Dude, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me while I'm perfectly content just greeting, getting by on average while spending my free time on games and anime. This guy. This guy doesn't know what he has. He's an asshole. Ooh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a meat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look for a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself a lint to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and as over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. This guy. Oof. Clubs. Sorry you want me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello. Sayori. Sorry you must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. The what? Well, that you could come with my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Mimi? Sorry, he's the vice president of the literature club. Is that, is that where the trouble begins? Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show entrance, interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in liter literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> yeah, barely fits in the tab, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori's really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to plan all this out. I let a big sigh. A rumph. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swims the classroom, the classroom door open. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Yeah? I glance around the room. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see now, should I go serious with this? With this, uh... I think I'm gonna go with a uh, Fat Albert. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. 
So he always says nice things about you. Seriously? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, uh, Slendic Man Whore. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. words escape me in this situation. This club is in full it's full of incredibly cute girls. What? What was girl two? I forget. <laughs> what are you looking at? I know. Wait. What was I going to go over girl two again? I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly in my ear. She, ten she then turns back towards the other girl. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. This is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparable, more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? I'm gonna go with Fat Albert. That's right. It's good to see you again, Slutnik Man Whore. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You too, Monica. Come sit down, Slut McMahon Whore. Go for Slitty. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Mm. Actually, you know what? I'll make Natsuki. Natsuki? The, uh, because it's more funnier if she was like, Hey, I made the mug get up, brother. Sorry, I get a little too excited. Now about I make some tea as well. <laughs> Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space to Sayori. Oh, it's going to make me choose, isn't it? Natsuki and Yuri will walk, walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the dish. Still feeling awkward, I take the seat next to Sayori. Oh, I didn't have to choose. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready for the Hulk Mania? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, while little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Let's see, what should I make Mama Gillian? I'll go with that robot. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hehe, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sorry, you grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sorry, talks with her mouth full. Has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. I'm sorry. Look. Okay. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. 
What are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this song before? Gee, I wonder where. Made them for you or anything? Huh? I thought you technically did. So I already said, Well, maybe. But not for y you, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri return returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set. No, wait, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I. I guess. <laughs> Do not let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I admit, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what are you considering? So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined in clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Do not be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club. It is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you leader of the big club last year? Ah ha ha ha. Well, you know. To be honest, I cannot stand all the politics around the major club. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather much take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it and if it encourages other to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you are both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow, really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! But do our best. You know it, brother. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked really hard. Must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted about the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still, still really don't know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. <laughs> Is that McMahon who? No. Uh, so, is that McMahon who? What kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she, w she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. No. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. That level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. 
She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. It's obviously by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deservedly taking advantage of your own lack of imagination to create, to completely throw you up for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at this minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I would not have expected that Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if story makes me think and takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, only if for a brief moment. Uh, like, ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... That ski eye starts over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. Hmm. What? It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! Give it back! Fine. Fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poem, everything you do is just as cute as you are. So he sails up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, eh, well, I guess sometimes. What do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you show them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them, brother. Ah, not a very confident writer right yet. Hmm? I understand how Natsuki feels, sharing that level writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, expo exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experiences too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poem. We all sit in silent for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzical at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Uh. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Slut McMahon whore? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's is that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly pump. Pl I. I put a blunt in my mouth. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind with the entire time. I never said I wanted to join this club. Sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my any decision. I still have others clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. I don't want to see. Hold on, I gotta take a drink. Yeah, because I messed up the line. But, but, I'm sorry. I thought. Hmm. It's like an animal, right? You, you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear level headed decision when it's like this? It is 
If writing poems is the price I need to- Oh! It's just... Yeah, whatever. Right. Right. Okay. I've decided then. I'll join a literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sari wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really can't just came with a good pick cupcakes, but holding cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. And we would have had to take it out to the ring. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over me once more. Slot McManamore, I look forward on seeing how you express yourself. Hee hee hee. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Slut McManhor, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sorry, right now I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for us. Sure. Might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day at their school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think our favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, okay. Well, let's save. Uh, in deep plot. And... Return. Uh, hmm. Drink dependencies. I just drank a lot. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do that. Oh, no. They move around. Okay, anyways. Master. Uh. Done. Hawaii. Uh, explode. Um, Simon hurt, clumsy, pout, clone, jump, puppy, glass, fortune, drink. Uh, that one. Bush, rainbow, sadness, fester, music, twirl, socks, papa, candy. Papa? Why is that there? Hope, precious, cheer, summer, playground, skipping, love, staple, silly, shopping. Shopping is fun. Incongruent, agonizing, lollipop, go with agonizing. Unending. Sweet, holiday, peace, judgment, ribbon, poof, poof. <coughs> Adventure, pink, covet, existence, vacation, atone, wrath, captive, captive, vivid, question. Which girl am I pursuing? Oh! 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 We have to... Which girl am I pursuing? Oh. Huh! Well, shoot. Hmm.
they gonna go with? I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll come to it. Now we'll, we'll see. We'll see what their personalities are like. Adventure and Candy Chocolate Suicide. Su Why did I choose that? Beauty Star Skate Party. Loud Breathe. Bubbles Fantasy. Alone. Quiet Insight. Awesome. Awesome. Anxiety. Whisper. Nibble. Nibble. Cry, bliss, raindrop, spinning, childhood, doki doki, doki doki, extreme, fireworks, entropy, warm, intellectual, daydream, journey, meager, massacre, massacre. Wait. Do they jump when I. What? They jump when I pick it. Ones. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know which one should I go for. You guys decide. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Because I'm sure this will pop up again, right? <laughs> Boy. It's too late to change your mind. Oh. I just been po oh. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Well I asked Discord and uh we got one for uh Monica, one for Sayori, one for Natsuki, another one for Monica, one for Yuri, Natsuki, Monica. You can't do Monica on your first road. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, a lot of people. Oh, someone started to vote. Uh, Let's see. Four for Yuri. Six for Monica. I can't do Monica though. Four for Natsuki. Uh, Sayori. Someone put down Yaoi. Yeah, okay. That's fair.
and four for Sayori. Okay. Well, all right. I guess I could go for. I mean, since you guys said the first one doesn't matter, I guess, uh, you know, it doesn't really. Hi again, Slot Nigma and Whore. Glad to see you didn't run away on us, ha 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 ha. Don't worry. This might be a little strange for you, but I at least keep, but I at least keep my word. I'm back at the Little True Club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Slot Nigma and Whore. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Make you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, Lucky deserves any slack. So he told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Manga is literature. I mean, it is words. It's just words with art. I'd say it's more defined. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Slug Nevehor always give it his best as long as he's having fun. I have a feeling he doesn't. He helps me with busy work without me ever even asking, like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you do a really good friend. You do a really good friend, aren't you? I'm a little jealous. How come? You and Slut McMahon can become good friends too. Uh, uh, Sayori. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she puts me into. Oh, oh! Yuri even bought you something today, you know? Wait, wait Sayori? Huh? Me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's nothing, really. What is it? Uh, never mind. Sayori made it sound like it was a big deal when you're really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess this means up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so it's nice. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. I guess I'm going, Yuri. Take that out of context. It'll make me happy no matter what. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah, I, I, I won't make it a big deal if you... No. Mm. Yeah. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches to her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that you, I, I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention. And if you don't want usually read, then we, we could, you know, d discuss it if you want it. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. 
Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for his chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book your read read some of the book you gave me. Some of that one oh okay, always Oh, okay, never mind. I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayuri's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is the idea of a literature club seems too intense and intellectual. You know, I watch Rick and Morty too. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. Doesn't solve the problem though. Eh, what do you mean? If we come up with the most fun thing ever. Nobody will come to well, nobody will come in the first place if it's literature event. So So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? Let me go. And after they come we can do the we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? So are you taking this really seriously? It's rare to hear deliberating like this. Huh, that is a good point. In that case, don't you fe don't you think food will do the trick? What, what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could. Cookies! Ah ha ha ha, good thinking. Natsuki would like to do that, would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Eh, error. Does not compute. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sire is still the usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me. I have trouble finding any motivation at all. Sorry you could put her mind to things, make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. <laughs> I open my eyes to find Sorry's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait, actually I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't a napping club. Does our school even have a napping club? You're staying up again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> That's what I do best. That's the problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? N not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's, it's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, sorry, it's written all over you. Eh? Sorry glances around at herself. How's it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair's sticking out over the way here. Huh? I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair's just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight either. There's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. 
I tried to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. You don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Huh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Huh? Don't say that. Maybe he feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh... I... I guess. Hey, be careful. That button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud! <laughs> Anyway, you look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew, that's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep this unbuttoned, I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you'd take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Yeah, it's possible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Yeah? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! It's like Minhor, I can't wait to read yours! Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiast, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, do you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My, relaxa my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't we find- Oh, well, now that everyone's ready, why don't we find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers on a composition notebook. I can already tell- see I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? <gasps> my poems are everywhere though! Who do I show it to? says fun stuff. Oh, okay. All right, let's sing.
I'm kinda. Alright. I mean, she wasn't really even on the options, cause, you know... I should start with Monica. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I wanted her to know I'm putting an effort. Hello? Hi, Slut McMahon Whore. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Do, do not be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, Slut McMahon Horn. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. That's so? Yo and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if the, you had these sort of things in common. Ah, uh, well. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in a different way, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ha 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 ha. I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things, different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of style, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha 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 <laughs> Anyways, do you want to write my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film. Left out in the sun. But it's too late, my retinas. Already scorched with the permanent copy of a meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. What? What does that mean? So what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform. That's what you want to call it? Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ha 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 ha. That's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been put an emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind? What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Yeah, something like that. 
I'm kind of nervous to talk about neat stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's my like attempt writing of the day. Sometimes you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about, th about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Beep. Alright, be right back. I had to get some drink. All right, I'm back. Got myself a new drink. Might wa might do water though, cause you know talking. Yeah, brother. Speaking of brother. time I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotion. So, basically it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, 
people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. Alright, hold on. Be right back in. My dog's bothering me. All right, back again. Apparently he doesn't want to go outside. He's just walking around, it's weird. I am. Why are you so convinced I, I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing still wouldn't make your messaging less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decide to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simply writing, simple writing, is that it puts more weight in the wordplay. I like to set, I like, like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the fam feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Look at that smug face. Look at that smug face. Tell me that does not remind you of Santania. Satania? Yes, yeah, Satania. Don't tell me that doesn't remind you of Santania. Look at that smug face. Oh, that's such a beautiful smug face. Anime smug girls are the best.
didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last moment comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, I won't take that away from her. Yuri. <laughs> Yuri stares at the poem. A moment, pa a minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, so sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, uh, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Uh, uh, okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess it might be after reading through it. Ah, so is that bad? No! I just read my voice. Uh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Uh, it's just that there were specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through them myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from their topic matter and form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once, you're, once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be planned for. There are so many different skills that they need that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them, building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take some time, it might take you some time, but it comes with practice, learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gets you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself to me or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd like to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate the beneath the amber flow, glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last. Yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I pay the call. Breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. <laughs> That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. This is our first time sharing. I wanted to write something a little more mild. Mmm, I like the natural cheese. Something easy to digest, like natural cheese, I suppose. 
Are you in the ghost theory? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. It's like, it's not whole. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbiologically. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past soon to be left with nothing that's a lot more solemn putting it that way i hadn't even thought of that that's impressive that's nothing really well it makes me happy that you think that just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too yeah maybe you're right i guess i'll have to keep trying i'm counting on you Sorry time. <clears throat> oh my goodness. This is so good. Slap McMahon whore. Huh? I love it. I have no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. <laughs> well then. Are you sure you don't are you sure you don't like it because I just because I wrote it? Eh? Well I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's just not a poem. It's a slut McMahon horror poem. And that makes that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sorry hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm just really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm sitting in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet. Oh, oh of course. <clears throat> Sorry, sorry, I don't know what happened to me. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Slut McMahon Whore. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again. I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here. Okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright. I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you go through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me, trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I want breakfast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do this thing. Well, at least this makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be so mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or... How should I put it? It just sounds like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. 
I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, yeah. Next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the po best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. There's a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch you their expression change. Natsuki eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns a poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. There was this. Cute. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can you... How can that be cute? I, I know that. I, I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try it in order to come up with something nice to say? Things, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm, if I was looking for suggestions, I wouldn't ask someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Sutnik Manhor did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer. I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Ooh, and some men are like my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Ooh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress a new member here, eh? <laughs> That's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up. But maybe you're just jealous that Slut McMinnhart appreciates my advice more than appreciate yours. Who? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Are you that fool of yourself? I... No. If I was a fool of myself... I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Slippy Man Horse started showing it up. <laughs> Natsuki! Uh, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both your girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Suddenly, man, oh, she's, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of being your poem all convoluted for no reason? The meeting should jump out the reader and not force them to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Slutnik Man Whore. But uh, wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. That's the only way to convey the complex feelings and mean most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand, right, Slip McMahon Whore? Um. Well. Uh, uh, how did I get 
tried into this in the first place. It's not like I know anything about writing. Who I'm agreeing with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. He's good at this stuff. Matsuki! Matsuki glares at me, drying up, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turned to Yuri. Yuri! <laughs> but Yuri's expression is so defenseless I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Uh, Sayori? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Man, well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I made a bad decision. Uh, I agree. No. <clears throat> uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings in our conflict. Yeah, only Sayuri wants to tell Yuri what a stuck up jerk she's being. She, she would never. It's your maturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! <laughs> Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems are amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? Be because... Well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boots are the same as they always wear. Big and beautiful! <clears throat> Sayori... Sayori stands trumpetly. Triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Um... Make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Ah ha ha ha. Nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means Ayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay. I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica saw sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly... Suck McMahon whore, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was neat. It was a neat thing to talk to everyone, to talk about it with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Uh. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kind of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Stop like man whore! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. 
<laughs> Sayuri beams at me. It's truly been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it, though. Not enjoying it, either. Sayuri? <coughs> Sorry. About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know. Between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? Oh, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just want your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Slapping Man or it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Huh. Looks like Sawyer still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation by then. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Well... We'll... Just have to see what the future holds, Sayuri. I pat Sayuri on the so shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Whoa! I'll just save right there, brother. Oop. I didn't mean to do that. Uh. Wait, what time is it? How long have I been streaming? About an hour and 38 minutes. And it's 9.32. And I got work in the morning. So, with that, I'd like to thank... Uh, let's see now. Targus. Does Pixel Biscuit. Saka. Oh. Uh, I wish it showed me the list of who's here. One, two, three, four. Who's, who's the other person? I don't know who the other person Oh no, the other person's me. Ah. Alright, well, thanks guys. I did say Saka. I did say Saka. The fourth person was me. Because I'm watching my own stream. Because I have to. Because I don't know how to monitor. You're the spider. Oh, Suku. Son, ah, thank you. Huh. Huh. Oh, it's eight eyes. Oh, Saka's eight eyes. Oh, got it. Hmm. Anyways, that's all for today. I'll notify you guys in Discord if I'm gonna stream like later on, like tomorrow maybe, or Monday. I don't know, one of those days. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Thanks for checking it out. I'll talk to you guys later in the Discord too. See you guys later.